So this morning we're gonna get our corn planter out. Get the manure spreader out of the way and then we're just gonna use a skid loader to pull the planter out. We got a little bit over half an inch of rain last night. So we're not gonna be in a hurry to go and plant, but once it's dry enough, we'll be ready to go. We wanna put a pasture behind our heifer barn and we have that drill here so that we can just seed some grass in that area. We got a lot of new parts last winter and we put about 200 acres on it since then. So a lot of the stuff is in pretty good shape. We'll just keep it in the shade to work on it. I think I greased it last summer after I washed it, if I remember right. So this is a no-till corn planter. Just have our row cleaners. Just move some of the trash out of the way. Then we got these discs. It's like a V, creates a little seed trench. Drop the seed out and seed firmers where the fertilizer comes out. And then we got the closing wheels in the back. So it was set up for two by two fertilizer. We haven't been running those. These need to be rebuilt and we just haven't used them the last couple years. I'm just gonna check all these discs, make sure that they're the right distance apart and oil these chains, make sure they're all good. I'll grease it too. I'm gonna put all the seed boxes back on. So these are the seed meters. We sent these off this year to just get checked over and make sure the timing is right. They have little finger pickups in there, so they're actually picking up an individual seed and dropping it. So that's what actually places the seed out. It's important that those are very accurate. Try to get them checked out every couple years. I just need to put those back on the seed boxes and stick them on. So we're checking the spacings on these discs, uh, openers for the seeds. Put a couple pieces of uh, cardboard in there. That one's too far apart. Yeah. I gotta take it apart and get this closer. So one of them is reverse thread. Okay. I think, uh, I think this one is. Yep. There's washers there that I'm gonna watch out for. We found the problem here. It's actually a broken piece. See, that's all broken. This is just twisted a little bit and bent. Just needs to be pulled back together and welded again. So I got it welded as best I could. Looks a whole lot straighter now. I'm gonna try to go over the welds a second time. 
Just a challenging spot for me, being upright. Got a little bit on this side too. I brought this pallet of corn seed over to the shop. We had it stored in the other building. This is most of the seed we're gonna need for the year. It's a couple different varieties. I wanna get it organized on a couple of different pallets so I know what we have. So I got things a little more organized now. This will be our middle bunker for about 55 acres. It's the unified BMR corn. And then we have 15B75 Bravant for the second bunk. Uh, then we have some non-BMR for heifers or shell corn. We'll get started with this stuff and then move on in that direction. My dad got those parts we need to get the planter put back together. He's gonna do that right now and then we'll be set for tomorrow morning. So we'll put the disc back on, get on the right spacing and then these scraper pieces, we had to get a new one of these because the old one got destroyed because it was off center. So I had to make some adjustments to the washers, but I got them the right distance apart now. So now I'll put these scrapers on. So this was the scraper that was on before. It's the next morning now. I just got the tractor hooked up to the planter. Going to load it up with seed. And we're gonna get some fertilizer in that center tank, get started. Usually it takes a little bit till we get actually going. Gotta check the seed depth and make sure the planter's working right. Gonna keep a really good eye on this unit that we had welded yesterday. If it doesn't hold up, we're gonna have to pull this off and get it welded better if I could flip it on its side. So keep watching that. We'll load the seed in right now. He's putting seed coat on. It's just a little bit of fertilizer to help him get started that we add. So now I'm gonna get the seeding rate set up. Just have these different sprockets you put on that can adjust the, the speed that it spins the meters. Shooting for 30,000 plants to the acre. Now I know this planter always runs higher population, so we're gonna set it for 29,000. 25 spokes on the drive, 23 on the driven. Twenty-five graphite to uh, lubricate the meters a little bit. We put 32 gallons of the starter fertilizer in. That'll be two gallons to the acre. Yeah. And now I'm gonna top this tank off with water and we'll run it about seven gallons to the acre. I'll run through this squeeze pump right here. So that's starter fertilizer. It's gonna help the seed get going. It's gonna come right out of here. So right now you can see it's draining out. Liquid was just running through these because I didn't have this tighten. Ready to go get started. We're gonna start out in this field that we had injected manure in a couple weeks ago. So almost every year we start planting at another farm because we have some higher ground that dries out a little sooner than the home place. But this year it's been pretty dry. It's fit everywhere to start. So we might as well start at home. It's kind of nice if we have an issue, then we're closer to the shop. So we'll be able to compare really well. This field had 8,000 gallons of manure spread on top. And then we did hit it with a vertical tiller. This field had 8,000 gallons of manure injected per acre. Oh, my 
my monitor showed we had seed coming out of all six rows. This ground is pretty soft. The injector cut it up pretty good and then we had vertical tilted it so it's almost looks like a plowed field. Yeah, shooting for two inches. I wouldn't be surprised if it's planting deep because of how soft the soil is. Yeah, that's running deep. That one is pushing three inches. Yeah. Just adjust this back a little bit and that keeps this wheel from being able to rise up as much. I'll just hold the planter a little bit higher. one right there it's running right around that two inch uh, two and a quarter inches I dug up seeds on all the rows they look like they're good I'm just gonna watch everything I got to really watch this unit that there's two discs there make sure they don't get out of balance and those welds break I have a feeling this field's not gonna be an issue this soft dirt but if I get into rocky ground and hit something that's where I can break it again I like to do my end rows first I'll uh, probably do four passes on a big field like this. We'll work at all that, and then we'll start going the whole way across. There's a sensor on each row that uh, reads when a seed goes past. So if a chain would pop off or something wasn't working, that the seed wasn't coming out, I would know it. And this will beep at me really loudly if a seed stops coming. So I got all my end passes done. Now I'm just working my way across the field. I just spin right around at the end, go straight back. And I'm just following the mark. I've got these marker arms. Just marking the center of the next pass. So I'm uh, moving across the field pretty well. It's been working so far. Just wanted to check on my planter and make sure mainly that this unit is working right. I should have used about half the seed by now. Seems about right. about lunch time and it looks like my dad brought me some lunch. That's a good thing. Thank you. You going good? Yeah, it's going really good. We got that whole field done. So now I'm actually gonna head to the one rented farm. I guess we'll get that one done next. See how much we can get planted until it starts raining this week. So I'm working at a rented farm right now. Did two small fields. So this was soybeans last year. We put rye in his cover crop, sprayed it, spread manure on, and then we had someone come in and run a Salford vertical tillage tool over it then this spring after the manure. Normally we just spread the manure and then plant on that. It's a little bit different this year. Kind of like it. The planter's working well. We got triticale at this farm. And this is looking really good. This is up in my waist about. It doesn't seem to be getting too mature though. It's The heads of grain are still six inches from the top. Probably uh, next week we'll mow it.
I made another adjustment to the right, getting our third load of seed now. So I had them inject manure in one field at this farm. It's this one right here. It's gonna be nice to be able to compare these fields now this year. So it's about 7.30 in the evening now. Just about done at this farm. We had 29 acres to plant here. I brought one bag along with me because I thought I might run out. Just have a partial acre left. Just gonna add a little bit into these to finish this up. There's about a mile away. It's a little stressful to get there with this wide planter on the main road. So it's good to be back. So I have about 47 acres planted, which would be enough to fill one of the side bunkers. We like to fill the center one first with this corn. So I want to have at least 55 in the ground. So I'm gonna try to do that tonight. It's calling for some rain overnight. So I kind of want to get this done to have this chunk of acres all together. Three more bags of this corn there. I'm gonna throw that in. We'll have to refill the fertilizer. It's fun working in the dark. It's just a little bit harder to notice problems. I would never want to start in the dark. I've been running it all day. Things have been working fine, so I'll just keep as good an eye on it as I can. We got enough out there to fill that metal bunker silo. So even if it rains tonight, that's uh, it's gonna be a good place to stop. So I'll shut it down. Thanks for watching, guys.